Okay, Carly, I'm going to send it over to you. A lot of blue behind you. I right know. Now. Yeah, does that make you feel cold? <laughs> yes, Looking actually. At it, yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because our temperatures are cold this morning. We are sitting at 41 for an air temperature, 37 your feels like temperature. Now, along the coast, because our air is traveling over the water, so over the Laguna Madre before it makes it to the Naval Air Station and Port Aransas and so forth, the, it's a little bit more mild uh, along the coast. 47 at the beach right now 51 at the Naval Air Station Corpus Christi there at Flower Bluff. So that's what we are looking at temperature wise. A big range. You can see Beeville is the cold spot this morning at 36. Not a whole lot of wind up there, so air temperature matches the wind chill. We have one more morning of, of cool temperatures on the way. A little bit warmer though tomorrow morning, so it'll be 47. But heading into the weekend, we're going to say goodbye to mild temperatures, and that's because our cloud coverage is going to be on the increase. So today we have clear skies and we're going to keep the sunshine throughout the day. Northerly winds still coming around the edge of this high pressure are going to keep us on the cooler side today, even though we see the sunshine. So I expect our temperatures to be a few degrees cooler than yesterday. We made it to a high of 64 yesterday. This high pressure slides off to the east, and you already know what that means. We're going to start to see onshore flow returning, especially in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. We start to get southerly flow, and that's going to start to increase our moisture. So right now it looks like Friday, most of the activity stays offshore, but we are going to see our cloud coverage increasing on Friday. That's going to keep our overnight temperatures on the mild side and our highs uh, on the cooler side as well. But that southerly flow is going to work to start to bump up our temperatures. So while we're going to see more cloud coverage over the weekend, our temperatures will be warmer due to that southerly flow. So Saturday morning, rain is in the forecast, but most of that activity is going to be off toward Houston. We're not going to see quite as much rain here in Corpus Christi. A spotty shower here or there is possible, but no, by no means is your weekend going to be a washout. One thing that is going to happen, though, on Saturday is our winds will be a little bit breezy. Uh, we're talking gust. 30 to 35 miles per hour, both Saturday and Sunday. So Sunday, we're going to see a disturbance come through overnight. I think that's when we'll see the most rain Saturday into Sunday morning. You can see that here. A few storms possible offshore, but for the most part, we're just talking isolated showers here in the coastal bend. This model now keeping a little bit more rain, but mostly to the northeast. So from Victoria to Houston's where we're going to see more of that rain heading into Sunday. Areas on the backside of that rain, you're going to see sunshine. So it's going to be a, a quite a split across the region. So we are going to stay in a bit of an unsettled pattern, but I want to remind you guys that this is a um, long range forecast model. So it's a low resolution model. So while you're seeing a lot of green blobs on your screen, in reality, that's going to turn into very spotty, isolated showers. So it's not a washout by any means on Monday, but yes, we are tracking rain in the area both Monday, possibly even even Tuesday, but then Wednesday to me looks like the best day of rain. We're starting to see a low pressure system again, kind of similar to the last one that moved through and brought that snow to the Texas Panhandle, West Texas and so forth. We're going to get a, a coastal trough. It looks like possibly as well. So overall, yes, there is a chance for cooler weather and rain. However, for us here in the coastal bend, our rainfall totals are still not impressive with any of this rain that you saw. As I mentioned, it's a long a long range model, so low resolution. So you can see a tenth of it, a quarter or a hundredth of an inch up to maybe a quarter of an inch is what we're talking for the upcoming seven days. So not a lot of rain. Temperatures are, are on the cooler side today. Again, highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. And in your seven day forecast, we are bumping temperatures up even with some cloud coverage into Sunday, a low chance for some rain, especially along the coast there on Sunday. But then we keep isolated showers in play on Monday, kind of muggy on Tuesday. It looks like Wednesday is our best chance for rain with a potential cold front. Barbara.